The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners who come together delivering applied research for Australian industry. So in Australia, there is a growing demand for more fly and fly out and drive in drive out workers, particularly in the construction areas, which are often associated with the resource extraction industry. The purpose of this project was to examine the impacts that fly and fly out and drive in drive out workers faced in relation to their health, their safety and their relationships. The important research we did in this project was really part of and formed part of and was driven by two major reports in this country. The Federal Government report in 2012 on fly and fly out workers and interactions with home and host communities and the very important report by WA Government on suicide and mental health issues in fly and fly out workers in WA. As I speak, the Queensland Government is continuing its own inquiry into this important area. This research was underpinned by four objectives. The first of these was to examine the relationships between the workers themselves and their families and the home and host communities. The second was to look at psychosocial issues which had been pointed out before as elements of concern in this workforce. The third was to look at issues to do with health, safety and environmental issues on site which were of a concern for this particular group. And the fourth was to again look in more detail with the issues of rosters, shifts, work times, job descriptions and so on which have an impact on all of the three areas above. Our research was conducted in three states, Western Australia, Queensland and New South Wales. We ended up in the order of 300 questionnaire data sets. In addition to that, we had 15 focus groups across these three communities. A lot of these workers found that the work was very meaningful and that they found it important. It was of value to them. Secondly, they also found that safety was a key priority for management, regardless of where they worked. The more important issues, however, lie around the family relationships. So some of the key aspects included isolation whilst working, an inability to communicate with family whilst on site, their rosters and work demands, and fatigue from travel, particularly to and from site. Uh, Roads and Maritime Services were really happy to be involved in this project, um, looking at the impact of fly in, fly out and drive in, drive out work on our workforce. We rely heavily on drive in, drive out, particularly in the west of New South Wales for our rural and regional road program, which is an increasing program of work and therefore putting more and more strain on that workforce. Fly in, fly out or drive in, drive out in our case has a lot of impact on the family life and that can then lead to mental health issues and also safety in the workplace issues, which is something that we see as our number one issue with, um, with RMS. Uh, it was great to get the team out to meet the guys in the field and actually visit them in a site about 200 kilometres north of Broken Hill and understand their work environment and the feedback from the guys who they met was certainly very positive about people taking interest in their concerns around their impact on family and the work schedules that they do and we're looking at implementing some of the findings in our work program. Medicine Construction is a peer-based community development, welfare and awareness program for workers on FIFO and DIDO sites. We upskill the workers so that they know how to look out for their mates and hopefully their mates will look out for them so that should they be stressed because of the isolation, uh, because of the lack of communication, because of relationship problems, right? if they have these issues they can ring the 1300 number or they can look out for one another, they can call us and what we do is we make contact with them and hopefully try and catch them before they actually have thoughts of suicide or harm themselves. Because being away from their family they do feel the stress, you know, the long hours, the heat, uh, sometimes the rosters and this is quite specifically in the FIFO and the DIDO uh, workers and their families. And yeah, we're very happy to be supported of this research. What we're trying to do is halve the suicide rate within the next uh, decade. That's what we're trying to do. I was really pleased to be associated with this important research looking at the work health and safety issues affecting fly-in, fly-out workers. This report's a timely reminder that builders and constructors should always properly assess and control all risks associated with safety, not just those normally associated with the high-risk activities. In particular, I encourage all builders and constructors to properly consider mental health and fatigue issues as part of any good safety management system. We expect that this research will be important to federal governments, state governments and also industries themselves to enable them to work out better ways of working in the future 
so that less impact, psychological impact, health impacts occur on this workforce. It's a very important workforce, it's a very important part of our social milieu. We need to have these workers as well as any other worker in the country. We think our research has contributed to this and we're very pleased to be involved.